This is Sal again, and this is part four on the series that we're doing at Stanford Medical School with uh, Dr. Connolly. All right, Sal, we're back here again. This is now the fourth of the slides, and this would be um, now the business for why that segment of colon was removed. This is the colon cancer. Wow, wow. And so um, just to orient, we'll go now to, um, to the, uh, the drawing, which is like you're saying before, up here, this is the, um, this is the lumen right. up here. Right. Um, out here, that's the... Lumen is the inside of the... The inside, right, that's the inside. Of, of the colon. Out here, this is the rest of your belly, the, right. where the bowel is all kind of rotating around in the abdomen. Right, right, And right. so... Um, is there a word for like intra-abdominal... Yeah, peritoneal. Peritoneal, okay, so right. the peritoneal cavity is where all the bowel loops are kind of just... Um, right, just moseying around. around. Right, and, right, so right, they right. and then what we have here is this is the important part, which is this is the muscle right. um, that allows peristalsis. Yes, that's the peri. I learned that in high yeah. school. That's the, the the kind of moving, the undulating motion to, to push stuff. Yep. Right. It'll go and it'll sort of um, milk it along in order right. for the contents to move along. Right. So you can see the muscle looks all fine there. That's right. how thick it's supposed to be, and it all looks fine over here. Just on a scale, what what scale is this? Like how thick is that muscle? And so um, we're now once again our tiny little red blood cells are those little dots there. Right. And so we're talking about the thickness here is a, is a few millimeters. The, the, that muscle is yep. about a few. So remember few back to this guy there. that was about six. Right. Millimeters, so that's right. about that's about six. Okay, okay. Millimeters thick. Okay. That's actually strong. Right. It's a very right. very strong muscle, and you can kind of see it goes up here, it kind of comes around here, but it's looking like it's troubled all yes. along this area. Yes. And this this stuff, all the stuff, this is just this once was probably a polyp, and mm -hmm. now it's turned into a kind of this massive polyp. Yeah. So uh, we have the normal over here uh, right. for the lining. This is where it's going dysplastic. Right. It's looking right. a little bit bad there. There's where it's going dysplastic. And so now what happens is you've got these edges of dysplasia. When people in the medical up. field say plastic, they're saying that word means tissue? Or uh, well, plastic mean? in general, like plastic yeah. surgery right. or the plastics of as far as a material science means moldable. I see. But it also means you can grow with it or I you can see. change shape. Right. So when you and call so, something plastic, it's like it's moldable tissue. It's or, the shape changes. It's the shape, uh, shape changes. And so, and so the shape changes were wrong. I see. And actually dysplasia can refer to a cell, a I tissue, see. an organ, or an entire limb. Oh, okay. So okay. it just means right. it grew wrong. I see. Or I molded see. wrong. So now this this is where we have the cell dysplasia. This is all the bad stuff. Right. And it basically um, started probably somewhere up there and is invading in right. all of these directions. Just one, one cell up there just started... Con, un, con, dividing uncontrollably. That's right. And it's, it's, it could have started from one cell being very bad. It often, though, starts, and I'm going to um, change now, so we're going to lose our art. Okay. And so what, what I'm going to do is change is that it often starts, though, from one of these. Right. Meaning maybe a cell uh, went bad uh, right around there, and right. now really is starting to it's grow. And, and when you say grow, it's not just one cell. It's all of its descendants. It's, it's, yeah, it's just descendants, the, and billions right. of cells right. um, billions. Are, are growing uh, in order. Billions and billions are growing yes, yes. Uh, downward in order right. to now, right. in this case, grow all the way through. Wow. And so you can see the scale yeah. is it not only grew a little bit, it went right through the muscle. Yeah, wow. Okay, so going back to this guy here, um, this is now... And there are some, like, the, the body does have things to fight this off, but it was unsuccessful. Oh, that's right. And so there are um, certain conditions where if you decrease the immune functions, right. you'll get cancer. I see. And right. so it's still argued, though, whether it's that you, uh, immune system is decreased, you got a virus, and right. then the virus caused the cancer, right. or whether it's, there's a lot of surveillance right. to, to eliminate cancer. And that whole cancer. notion that viruses, I mean, it's fascinating. And it's because viruses are messing with our, sometimes, they, I mean, isn't it a significant chunk of our own DNA from ancient viruses? And Yeah, yeah. and I think there's a couple of big um, categories is that um, viruses can get into your DNA right. and really screw up the DNA right. by getting, right. um, you know, integrated into it. But they also, like we said before, can lead to irritation. R oh, right, And then right. more cell right. growth and have troubles sense. there. Makes sense. So um, now we're back here in which we're, um, looking at the cancer, which probably, like you said, started here and is growing, including um, spreading out all the normal tissue around it. Wow. And so we're going to look now at the cells. So zoom in. Zoom in. T zoom time. Hang on to your hat. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is first um, wow. probably go into a, a lower power here is look at the edges of this. So once again, we find normal. Right. And so this is even not perfectly normal. You can see it's a little bit dividing and a little bit irritated. Right. So this right. is irritated along the edge. Hyperplasia. 
Oh, uh, exactly. Yeah, like exactly. I'm learning something. <laughs> All right. So, good. so then uh, what we have now is as you go in deeper, these are the areas which normal, but this is all kind of coming out, you right. know, like we're saying up here, kind of growing out in all directions. Right. This is now where you can see the wow. cancer next yeah. to the normal. You know, we had talked before about dysplasia. This is really bad. Right. And so, capital D. Yep. Small children <laughs> off the street could be able to tell you that this is bad. Right. And so when after they watch this video. Yeah, after, uh, exactly. Uh, definitely, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and so these are the normal ones. They're doing their J-O-B job. Right. Making the mucin, nuclei at the bottom. What is this guy doing? Right. There's, yeah. It's just yeah. chaos. Yeah. So before we talked about carcinoma in situ, right. a cancer in the spot, right. if you saw cells this bad, right. you'd say, do not let them go far. I see. Because they will have a tendency to invade. They're crazy. So yeah. this right here is a bunch of the cells. That's a bunch of the cells. They're these guys here. You can see they're really haphazard. They're growing. They're not doing their... Um, so, so if a... If a, if a uh... If if we found a polyp that had this stuff that didn't cross that boundary line yet, we still would say no. We got to take this. You know, well, I guess we already took it out. <laughs> you took it out. So um, so ca yeah. uh, cancer of the colon is yeah. one of the ones where surgical cure is still a classic. Right. Cut it out, and you're probably in pretty good shape. Right. And so there, you'd say, well, if it's the tip of the polyp and look like this, I think we got it out. But you'd say to yourself, we better watch this person. I see. So if, if the if the whole polyp kind of looked like that, you're like, oh, let's cut out a bigger section. Yeah, then you right. might. So if it's right. going down into the neck or getting a little further, or if you cut across it at the margin, then watch out. But here's the problem: is remember how I said uh, up here it's not a big deal, but right. once you get down near the veins oh, yeah. and arteries, yeah. these guys are running amok down by the veins, the arteries. And so you can actually see these kind of these cells have split off. Yeah. And so they're, they're infiltrating. So you can see wow. these guys here. So that's one little nest of cell. There's one. That's probably right there a cancer cell just dying to get into that little vein. Right. So this is actually I can never say the word metastasis. metastasis. This is it. We're seeing it. This is where it would come from. This is where so it's starting is, to happen. So these guys are the bad actors. They're growing in next to these very fragile little blood vessels, and so that guy is knocking on the door. Right. Once it gets in here. That's a, a venule, meaning a little vein. Right. That's the road out. Right. And it, it just looks like a circle here because it's a two-dimensional cross-section of it. But it, right. you can imagine it popping in or out of our screen. Yeah, so it'd be popping in on our screen. So this guy would kind of go in and out yeah. of the screen, connect to this one, and then it would go out. And it's officially, I can never say the word, metastasized once it's, it's, it's found a beachhead someplace else. Um, that's right. right. So it's considered a metastasis where, let's say, the cell got into the vessel right. if it left the region. Okay. So it went to the lung, I see. But this, the liver. this is looking like it's This is looking, looking like bad. you really are worried that this could metastasize. Right. And so what's interesting about this is that when you look at something like this, there's such a thing called, for cancer, grade. Right. And what grade is is basically what we've been just talking about. How bad does that look? Right, right. And so the grade is, wow, that looks nasty. Right. I think that's Is nasty a technical term? Uh, um, actually, we use it quite a bit. <laughs> okay. See, people say, well, what that tumor show? We said it was nasty. When we talk about nastiness, right. it's a lack of behavior. If you can right. get a cell where the nucleus gets that big right. or sometimes it's that big, there's chaos. Right. And there's chaos not just in right. nuclear size but how it behaves. And I guess the nuclear size is what – is, is, is a telltale because that means that the cell is devoting a lot of its resources for replication and it's right. replication but it also right. means to me that normally things in the cell are very orderly right you do not divide your dna until these things are all right I about see. And the now cell. It's just doing it and now and right. it's just left right. and right. Right. So, right so so yeah this would be a high grade tumor wow and then stage yes. is the other main yes, thing yes, I've heard of stage. stage means where is it in the body right so in this case um if it's these nasty cells right. and at the very top, it's actually a lower stage than if they're nasty cells and they've come all the way down here. So in, in, in situ carcinoma would still get a stage. It's a stage zero. Stage zero. So it's a basically you're, you're nowhere. And then if you begin to just cross over like here right. and invade, then you're to be stage one. And then there are depths as you go for stages. And then there's always the other thing where did it go off to other parts of your body. Right. And that's the very vessels. highest stage. And, and so this isn't a um, – and this is true of all cancers. When people talk about breast cancer, I've, I've heard it in that context a lot, stage one stage or stage mm -hmm. zero through four. Mm -hmm. and, and so it isn't just the size. So if the, if the, if the, if the, 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 the cancerous tissue is big, but if it's in a safe place, it could still be stage one or stage it, zero. It is. What's interesting about staging is almost the whole world has agreed to do – um, the same kind of staging, right? And that staging is um, what we're calling T N M, 
and T has to do with how big it is right. in the one site and how much it's crossed any barriers. Right. So this would but the be barrier crossing sounds like the most important thing. It more, does, more although this size. one here is, are they in lymph nodes? Oh, right, right. And the lymph nodes are nearby structures where, you know, the lymph goes. Right. And so that's one road out. And the other one is metastases. Right. And so, yeah, the staging has to do with all three. I see. I mean, metastases always happens through the, the circulatory system, through the blood, uh, the vessels, or does it also happen through the lymph network? And so it's something where going through the lymph nodes um, for something yeah. like this is the, one of the first steps. Right. But getting to the liver and the lung, I it's got to get into the blood vessels I somehow. See. I the see. lymphatic in your colon right. connects to a local lymph node, right. but does not connect through lymph only to the I lung. See. So it must have gone into I the see. blood somewhere. I see. So that's the um, the way it looks here. And then the final thing here when looking at this cancer is um, if we um, go over here, this is the wow. greatest depth of invasion. You'd ask me about the body's immune function. Well, if you look here, now you see how it's kind of loose and there are all these little immune cells. That's what these guys are. Those are Wait, little, what's the immune cell? Um, these one's guys the here. Immune? See the little round guys? So Those are lymphocytes. So actually, if you circle it, actually. Yeah. But how, do you, how can you tell the difference between the... The lymphocytes and the and the cancer cells. It's because I'm a pathologist. That's oh yeah, yes, because yeah, yeah, you've had no, many no, years of training. Cell. No, but they're the little round ones. So this one right here is a classic cell, uh -huh. which is called a plasma cell, in which there's a nucleus here, and all the rest of this is making antibodies. Uh, you're not circling that area. Are you? No, I'm no, not. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just drawing. Draw. Oh, okay, I'm just drawing. Draw. So this guy is this one. I drew him right. He, okay, he's you're round. zooming in on yeah, this. Yeah, zooming right. on that. Right. So, yeah, that's a plasma cell, right. meaning it's a yeah. nucleus. I just want to clarify what you've circled there, just because it could be a little bit confusing. Yeah. This big circle yeah. is, is maybe we should. Maybe this is why I should leave it to the pros. No, 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 just because I'm getting confused. So you're not you're not circling that area. That, no, I'll, 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 you're I'll, I'll not doing what, that. You're what it looks like zoomed in. Right, that so the, that's the, a plasma that's, cell. That's a plasma cell. Right. That's making antibodies probably right. against the tumor. Right, right. And so, right. so that's the immune response in that spot. And, and how do you how do you know that's? I mean, that looked very similar to the uh, the cancer cells. To um, me. This one's a little hard to tell. You, and right. if you had a real microscope, you turn up the light and right. it have a very specific look to the nucleus. Okay. And then these guys over here have little pink granules in them, right. which is a type of uh, immune cell. And then so when looking through here, like which, on this depth, which ones are cancers here? Okay, so now let me just um, uh, get over here, this one here, and then come out just a little bit. Um, let me go over here is that when looking at these yeah. guys, these are all inflammation. The nearest cancer cell where I could bet the farm yeah. are these guys up here. Oh, okay. So when you see on this view, it becomes more obvious. Yeah, they, so do, th they definitely look different. They look different. So then when you come out here, you can see there's the cancer. Right. This is the body's reaction to the cancer right there. I see. At the Amazing. deepest um, zone. And there are therapies based on trying to get more of this wow. immune response. That's, that's, that's amazing. Very cool.